The Cutlass is easily the most used weapon in Sea of Thieves. Since it's the most used weapon, you want to make sure that you have the best looking skin that would turn the head of every pirate you come across. Which is why in this video, I'm going to share with you the rarest Cutlasses you can still get in Sea of Thieves. These first few Cutlasses you can get by simply leveling your Athena's fortune reputation. Firstly, by simply increasing your Athena rep to level 20, you unlock this Ghost Cutlass for purchase. You'll have to pay a hefty price of 49,750 gold, but don't stop at level 20 Athena because if you keep leveling it up and reach level 29 Athena, you'll unlock the legendary fortune and cutlass for purchase. It'll cost you only 7,000 gold instead of 49,000 as an apology for how much time you wasted. This sword is considered the Walmart version of the legendary cutlass that you can't get anymore, so be aware that you might be bullied if you carry this one around. Now I know that getting to level 29 in Athena's fortune seems like a long road ahead, but thanks to this next sword, you'll honestly be knocking out three different birds with one voyage. By doing the Athena voyage, Legend of the Veil, a whopping 100 times, you'll unlock the ancient cutlass for purchase. Once you unlock it, it'll cost you 49,750 gold. So while you work the grind for 100 veil, voyages, you'll also be leveling up your Athena's fortune rep for the first two swords. And speaking of leveling up trading company rep, these next few have to do with the Merchant Alliance. If you reach level 70 in Merchant Alliance, you'll unlock the Merchant Alliance Heavy Sword, Cutlass, and Rapier for purchase. But these ones come close to having to pay an arm and a leg for because to buy one of them, you have to pay a hefty 875,000 gold each. If these Cutlasses aren't the most rare, they're definitely the most expensive. If you happen to be a Gold Hoarder fan more than a Merchant Alliance fan, then you'll be excited about these next few. This next sword requires the common a hoarder of barnacle gold, which to finish you need 300 barnacle chests turned into the sovereigns or a gold hoarder. If you finish the commendation, you'll unlock the silent barnacle cutlass for purchase. This one looks the most piratey out of all of them, which is why this one's my favorite. It'll cost a total of 94,500 gold, so it's a little bit more expensive than the rest. The second gold hoarder cutlass I have for you requires you to open 100 gold hoarder vaults. This cutlass requires a lot of sailing, but once you open 100, then you get the sick gold hoarder cutlass for purchase. It costs a large 189,000 gold, but will definitely look cool sword hopping around your enemy. The next blade is unlocked without any gold needed and only asks for your time. This blade is a silver blade cutlass. You unlock the silver blade cutlass by playing the Sea of Thieves insider build one hour per week for 63 weeks or a little over a year. The next cutlass I want to talk about requires you to be a pirate legend, which means level 50 in three different training companies, but you also need to complete the Vanquishing the Damned commendation, which means you have to finish the Fort of the Damned 25 times. For a fort completion account, it can be started from either Ritual Skulls or Skulls of Destiny, and you don't even need to be the one to start the fort, just be there when it finishes. Once you finish the commendation, and our pirate legend, you'll unlock the Soul Flame Cutlass. It's 500,000 gold to purchase it, so it definitely doesn't beat the Merchant Alliance swords, but it definitely takes a chunk out of your bank account. The last cutlass I want to talk about is the Gilded Phoenix Cutlass. This one is probably the most rare because this one can't be unlocked in game, can't be bought in game, and can't be bought in real life, unless you want to get scammed. It's given up by Sea of Thieves Twitch partners and by the official Sea of Thieves Twitch account on special streams like charity streams. If you're the lucky person to be picked to get this, then it's put into your account completely free. And follow me on my Twitch where I might be streaming Sea of Thieves right now, and if you want to learn the rare sales that you can still get in Sea of Thieves, then click on this video right here and learn all about them.